Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Slasher Video. Uh, this is their newest picture, uh, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, they're a newer company out with uh, releasing Death Nurse 1 and 2, Cemetery Sisters, Trashology, and uh, I believe they did Boarding House. So they kind of specialize in shot on video stuff, and uh, usually older stuff, but not always. And Cinco de Mayo is a, a newer uh, film, uh, throwback to all that kind of stuff like that. It's made in uh, the style of something like Up All Night or Monster Vision, like one half of a double bill. And we are uh, treated to this one half, uh, Cinco de Mayo, which is essentially a mexploitation movie uh and i don't want to mean like exploitation, like a mexican cheesy cheap horror movie this is essentially kind of like a black exploitation movie just uh with like mexican characters and things like that it follows a college professor who's basically just trying to teach mexican heritage to his students he's a really nice sweet genuinely good guy and everyone just craps on him and you actually really feel bad for him uh, he loses his job and he becomes part of this kind of a social experiment and he completely snaps and lashes out against the horrible racist people and uh, other stereotypes negative stereotypes that uh, he believes are uh, negatively affecting impacting his culture but uh, the character really the main drive in this is uh, really uh, uh, the main guy, I think that he does a really good job. Uh, you just kind of see all these movies where uh, <coughs> they like crap on a professor, and then like he pulls the kids through, and he gets to the kids, and everything's happy or maybe a little sad. But this guy just kind of goes nuts and starts killing uh, people to prove a point. Uh, and uh, it's the first half an hour really is no gore or anything like that. There's not much gore in the movie. It's just build up, but it's only about an hour and ten minutes. And of course, it has the all up all night cheesy wrap around thing uh, in there as well. And another fake movie that we do not get to see called Dance Till You uh, Die, which looks pretty bad. But again, it's kind of supposed to be pretty bad. Uh, most of the acting in here is really cheesy or just uh, cheap. I guess I don't know how to say it, but like I said, the lead guy, he's just perfect in it for some reason. Please have a seat. <clears throat> Mr. Valdez. We're all a bit upset about these unfortunate turn of events, but budget cuts being what they are, your program was deemed uh, irrelevant to the students' needs at the moment. The school board feels it's better to promote individualism rather than ethnic solidarity and breeding hatred. No, but uh, the, <laughs> let me finish. We're living in a sensitive time right now, and now this thing with this Mexican flag protest, it's getting a bit out of hand. And if you continue to have a career in education, then I feel I should tell you that the school board will no longer support programs that promote resentment towards other racial groups, such as yours. Mr. Liverstein, with, with all due respect, I am not promoting resentment of any kind. These kids are thirsty for cultural knowledge. Without my classes, there will be nobody here to represent the Latino student body. There will be nobody here to motivate the Chicano students to give importance to their distinctive experiences. Well, in the beginning, we needed someone of your uh, background to uh, head some a program of this nature. But we're able to free up some courses now that we have other faculty that can fulfill our foreign related needs. Mr. Liberstein, you make it sound as if I was only here to fulfill some sort of quota. This is exactly the kind of talk I'm referring to. It's dangerous. It could get somebody fired. It could incite backlash. A backlash I'm afraid that you may not be ready to handle. Your radical tendencies do not mesh with our community. But on a personal note, man to man, Humberto, I thought when we hired you, you were going to be a good, solid instructor. But underneath this soft-spoken demeanor, there's this instigator. You like to cause trouble. There were many times when I wanted to go up to your goddamn face and tell you you're fired. But I never got that chance. But let's try to remain professional on this. Let's not make this into a personal matter. And, uh... <coughs> 
uh, like I said, uh, the mask that he wears is also uh, kind of unique. I think that the the idea of this one's kind of a fun idea that I, I'm surprised I've never actually seen done before. Uh, a Cinco de Mayo killer on, uh, you know, Cinco de Mayo. I think that's fun. I, I'm a big, you know, kind of like holiday slasher thing. I think they're always kind of just uh, fun. The novelty of it, let alone, is kind of a, a fun thing to be part of or watch. <coughs> but <laughs> this is uh, very cheap. Like, there's no real gore. If you guys like those, like... You know, shot on video new movies that are kind of like uh, paying homage to the old shot on videos. I checked this one out. This one is uh, entertaining. There's some good jokes in here as well. You know, uh, something maybe like Bloody Ape, if anyone's seen that movie, uh, which is kind of like a throwback and lots of uh, politically incorrect stuff in here. But uh, the monologue at the end, also very fun. And I do like the idea that they, uh, the sheriff wasn't like a piece of crap. Because usually you get a cop and they're like, let's make the cop a biggest bigot of them all. And I like the idea they didn't make the cop like a complete piece of crap. Kind of put him in a hard, between a hard place and a rock, uh, his character. So uh, I think if you guys like enjoy this kind of uh, shot on video stuff, newer shot on video stuff, uh, then check this one out. You might, you'll get a, a good kick out of it, I think. Maybe a couple laughs. Uh, like I said, not really existing on the gore. Uh, I wish I would have seen, uh, you know, I think that this movie, uh, with a bigger budget could even be more fun. Uh, there is of course exploitation. there's machete, but, uh, you know, this is a little different, you know, on the lower level stuff, but I, I enjoy this. I, I enjoyed it. It's not a perfect movie. It's not a great film or anything, but, uh, it is very, uh, it, it does its job for a little cheapy and it's entertaining and, you know, kind of like I said, if it if that's your thing, the, the shot on video stuff or the new wave shot on video stuff like Slaughter Tales and things like that, then uh, check this one out. It couldn't do any harm. Uh, the DVD is loaded with a bunch of features, has a reversible cover. And uh, like I said, I really enjoy the soundtrack and the, the score in here is really fun, really uh, good 80s uh, slasher vibe stuff in there. But that is Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I, hopefully you can see the case. I know it's kind of a dark case. But like I said, I didn't watch it with the commentary or anything like that. But it's got a uh, Q&A with the cast, uh, all sorts of stuff, outtakes, deleted scenes. And uh, there's actually a uh, coming soon trailer on there, which I think will excite a lot of people if you watch that from the company. A uh, really fun movie they're releasing. But uh, that is Cinco de Mayo. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. And welcome to All Night Long with me, Stacy Monroe. And I only have one question. Are you ready to go all night long? I hope so, because we have two movies that you just don't want to miss. Tonight, we're going to see a group of sexy dancers fight for their lives against the posse of flesh-eating maniacs and the cult classic, Dance Till You Die.